Concho County during a battle over the Second Amendment this morning. Supervisors pass a resolution declaring support for gun rights. In a first alert update, Jason Zimmerman breaks down the impact after people on both sides spoke out. Free in a room that was standing room only, O'Connell County supervisors take up a resolution involving gun rights, passing it 29 to 1. And while most in the audience spoke out in support of it, a few people had concerns. Bad guys are going to have guns no matter what. Restrictive gun laws only affect good, decent, law-abiding citizens like myself and I'm sure the vast majority of the people in this room. Will families with children feel safer if this resolution is passed or will they take their tourism dollars elsewhere? The resolution seeks to have a broader discussion on gun violence rather than new restrictions and puts focus on other factors like eroding family values, being in a gang, and the lack of mental health care. Sheriff says he played a role in crafting what was written. If you break the law and you're committing crimes involving firearms, you're going to go to jail. You're going to be held accountable for that stuff, right? That's what happens. So good guys and their guns, you leave them alone. Um, your individual right to keep and bear arms in O'Connell County as a free citizen is, is I support that 100% as a county sheriff. Opponents of the resolution say their biggest concern was wording, which the board ended up removing. It would have made it so that someone could just decide that the laws the state made or the federal government made were not to be followed. That's what was very distressing to me, but they changed that language. So now it's, it doesn't really do much. More than 20 other counties in the state have similar resolutions regarding Second Amendment rights. Some have included sanctuary status, but that type of wording was not included here. Reporting in Ocano, Jason Zimmerman, Action 2 News.